Hello, I'm Carrie. Um, I'm going to come back and talk today about these ascension energies and the planets and everything, how they're affecting us. Um, I felt guided to talk about this today because I'm going through it, so I'm pretty sure most of y'all are too. I want to say thank you for watching and subscribing. It means the world to me. I appreciate it so much for the feedback and everything that I get when I do these videos and I want to send a shout out to two people that I listen to a lot that way if you want to connect with them and you feel like they resonate with you you can connect with them and one of them is the Emerald Gem she is amazing um, she did a transmission last night a Reiki transmission on me and a couple others who were on her live I'm gonna tell you yesterday around two I started vibrating my whole body was vibrating and it's still vibrating today but not as bad by last night I was really vibrating and I just I knew what it was but I really didn't understand what it was at the same time because this energy that's coming in is so much more intense than any of the energies we've had so far in the last you know six months years whatever um with saying that she did a Reiki on us and you know here I have been sitting thinking that I've pretty much cleared and purged everything and everything that I was purging now was for you know the collective and stuff but I found out last night through her transmission and the things that she said that I needed a purge too and in the middle of this I just burst into tears when I burst into tears it felt great. It felt amazing. I could feel stuff bubbling up that I didn't even realize I still needed to release. And I, it was just amazing. Beautiful. And by the end of it, we were all vibrating so hard and crying and everything. So, uh, she mentioned taking a shower. And mind you, it's 1230 at night. She mentioned taking a shower. So, I was like, oh gosh, you know, I'm, just, I'm still shaking so bad. I can body just shaking and vibrating and it feels amazing but it's 1230 at night how am I gonna go to sleep um, I can't go out of the room you know because my daughter's asleep and I don't want to wake her up so it's I can't go outside right now so what I did was I jumped in the shower too and let me just tell you after the release that I got from her and then jumping in the shower afterwards, I was grounded. I was still shaking and vibrating a little bit, but not as intense as it was. And then, and she's amazing, so you might want to go check her out. And then another one that I love and watch all the time is... Sorry, we need lots of water with all these energies coming in. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Alana Ash Clairvoyant 9D. The information on her page I resonate with so much and I feel like a lot of other people will too. So I'm going to give a shout out to her. She's got amazing information and knowledge on her page that I haven't found through anybody else. And I've been watching her for a while. But with these ascension energies coming in, I just wanted to tell you that you need to make it utmost important to ground as much as possible if it, it's the easiest thing in the world if you can just get outside put your bare feet on the ground hug a tree just sit out in in nature just in general let the sun hit you that is perfect um crystals 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 they help too i always have these on this is my eye of horus with a uh, lapis lily in it and then this is my energy project protector and I have them on at all times I carry crystals with me at all times I don't know if you can see all those over. they help tremendously they can help you release they can help you ground they can help you understand crystals are amazing and then water 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 like I said earlier and then another thing that you can do that's amazing too is um, when I wake up in the morning and periodically throughout the day, I wake up and I ground. And what I do is I imagine a light coming out of my head all the way up to Christ consciousness coming back down, 
through my chakras, my spine, all the way out to the bottom of my feet, and then I attach to the ethers of the earth. I do that a couple times a day, and then I also ask Archangel Michael to come in and put his bubble of protection over me. And the Archangels are there for you. Just call on them at any point in time. They're just sitting there waiting for you to ask. That you, you have free will, so they can't just do anything. So just call on them and really just believe that they are going to help you and that they're here to help you and they will. They love us and they want to. Your higher self too, also the galactics, your, your team of angels, your team of guides, all of that. They help you so tremendously. And so I just really wanted to come out and say this because with the energies that are already coming in and they're going to get more intense on June 26th, and then it's just going to pretty much be bam, 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 you know, all the way until the end of the year, and then more after the end of the year. So just keep yourself grounded with all of this. If something's coming up, feel it to heal it. If you have to cry, cry. You're not a sissy. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's judging you. Just cry. Get it out. Because if you don't get it out and you shove it down, you know, it's like stepping, I'm gonna quote Emerald Jim here. It's like stepping on a piece of glass in your foot and just going, oh, well, I'll deal with that later. No, no, because then it's gonna stay in there and fester and get an infection and it's not doing anything but worse when you could have healed it in the beginning when it was easier as opposed to waiting until have to situation to where the divine has to give you a tower moment to wake you up and make you listen but anyways um my daughter broke her arm two days ago my four-year-old so i really need to get in and take care of her i just felt really 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 called to come and talk to everybody about this because i know what you're going through i know what you're feeling if you need to leave me a comment i'll get back to you on it I just really want to say thank you so, so, so much for just subscribing and listening and letting me help with my knowledge and any knowledge that you have to give me. I would love it. I, I learn every day. I will be 40 next month. I do not stop learning. I learn every day. And I love you so much. Just keep your head up. Remember, feel it to heal it. Let go and let God. As above, so below. As within, so without. I love everybody. Namaste.